Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome to Shelter 2 Pause. This is the latest game in the Shelter series, and I believe it's pretty recent. It just came out in March of 2016, and I honestly have no idea what this game is about. This is the first time that I'm loading it up. As far as I know, we get to play as a baby lynx, which is right over here, and also a baby bear of some sort. So I'm really excited to see what this game has in store for us, and I hope you guys are too. So we might as well just start a new game here, dive right in. Um, as Ina, oh my goodness, this is Ina? Oh my gosh, that is our original Mother Lynx from Shelter 2. That is so cool. <laughs> so this is like Ina's story before Shelter 2. Oh my gosh, an origin story of some sort. That is really neat. Oh my goodness. Warmth of love, family and comfort, perils of the wild, vile things far from child. Oh my goodness, is this Ina's mother? Is that what that is? Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is from Ina's perspective, isn't it? I have a feeling that is, and that must be her mother right in front of her. This is reminding me very much of the beginning of Shelter 2, of course. Oh, and there's her siblings too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this is adorable, guys. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. And it looks like it might be springtime right outside their den. Either spring or summer. <laughs> and she's falling back asleep, of course. She's just a little tiny baby at the moment. and here we are <laughs> and that must be her mother oh my gosh how cute is this right now she's bringing us food too okay so we can mouse right we're kind of like right underneath her too <laughs> it's a little bit strange being so tiny um oh my gosh we need to go follow her this is this is just bizarre where did she go oh it's so bizarre because i'm so used to um following having the cubs follow me as the mother lynx so <laughs> she's waiting for us too as I'm getting my bearings here. We kind of fixed the camera angle so we're not staring straight at the ground. So this is nice. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, guys. And um, this cub to our right must be either our brother or sister. And it looked like we had a couple more siblings as well. I really like um, the mother lynx. It's markings. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that was so rude. <laughs> Just knocking me over like that. She has like these green markings like she's part of the forest almost. That is so neat. Oh my gosh. And are we going to go play with our siblings now <laughs> after they knocked me over? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why? <laughs> oh, and we can sniff around too. That's cool. Okay. So um, again, the right mouse button. Stop knocking me over you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And it looks like we're on the move again, but the right mouse button, of course, just like before, does that little, um, sniffing, sniffing smell -a vision thing like it did in Shelter 2, and it really doesn't look like I can run at the moment. There we go. There we go. Now she can run. <laughs> this is so cool, guys. Oh my gosh, I love this already. We have so many little blue flowers around here. The camera angle is a little bit tricky because it likes to kind of, uh, go up the rump of our little cub here, but I think we need to try to stay very, very close to our mother. I have a feeling because I'm a little bit worried that something's going to try to pick us off. Are the um, other cubs catching food or something? Or are they just playing in the flowers? It's hard to tell. <laughs> they must just be playing in the flowers. Let's see if we can pounce on this guy because he kept pouncing on us. Look at you. Look at you. You are adorable. <laughs> and that one's just rolling in the grass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I wish we had names for all of these, but I have a feeling this isn't going to last, is it? I have a feeling. <laughs> Can we pounce on Mother? Oh my gosh, guys! Oh my gosh! <laughs> We're pouncing on our Mama Lynx! Oh, and she's had enough of it. She's like, alright, maybe we should go back home. <laughs> we should bring the cubs back to the den. All of these mushrooms in here, too. Look at all these! Oh my goodness! Um, let's catch up to mom, though. Let's catch up to her. Okay, that one's going really fast, too. <laughs> we don't want to uh, accidentally get lost here. Oh, there we go. Curling up for another nice nap. And it looks like, just like Shelter 2, when we would have cubs, there are four cubs in this litter. So we have three lovely siblings with... One of them actually has those little green markings on his coat, too. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. I'm actually controlling her vision at the moment. 
This is so cute, guys. I can't get over that. <laughs> We're learning so much about Ina's life before she uh, came to be here. A look to the heavens, eyes up to the sky, taking strides to higher levels to ask the what and why. Oh, I think our mother's on the move again. She must be, um, oh, do you think she's following those stars? I wonder, and it looks like we're kind of sneakily following her as well. Like, I don't think our mother Lynx would really be happy if we were following her out into the night. Because it doesn't look like our siblings are with us at the moment. I don't think they're behind us. I don't hear them. So we're just kind of sneaking up on our mother, seeing what uh, what she's doing out here in the middle of the night, wandering into the forest. This does remind me of toward the end of Shelter 2, once our cubs would uh, grow up, the mother lynx would always follow the stars out to that field of fireflies. So I wonder if that's what's going on right now, if she's just checking out the stars here. There's one of those glowing ones that usually comes down to guide us. Hello, mother. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you up to? I'm not sure. She doesn't seem too bothered that we're right here either. So we're just sitting with her, checking things out. I hope our siblings are okay. I'm sure they probably are, right? We'll just sit right next to her. Oh my gosh, how cute is this, guys? <laughs> how cute is this? I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do. I'm sniffing around at the moment to see if there's anything uh, that we're supposed to pick up, but I don't know. I don't know. Are you gonna tell us what's going on, Mom? Oh, it's gone. Okay, now she's like, okay, okay, you're not supposed to be out here, little one. We need to go back to the den. <laughs> Bringing us straight back. I wonder what's wrong. She looks so sad, too. Well, let's follow her back. Hopefully our siblings are all right. I don't like that we uh, left them all alone. That usually spells disaster in Shelter 2 when the mother leaves her cubs all by themselves. So hopefully they're okay. <laughs> She's really checking the area out too. I'm, I'm kind of worried. Like nighttime always worries me in shelter anyway. And it seems like we can't run in the tall grass. So that was probably my problem before. I need to catch up to you, mom. Hang on. <laughs> I was stuck in the tall grass and our siblings are still there. Okay, okay. Nothing to worry about, guys. Nothing to worry about. We'll just cuddle up in this big pile of fluffy kitties again. So cute, so cute. <laughs> Turning around and around just like a real cat. Oh my gosh, guys. I love this already. I absolutely love this game already. I'm a little bit worried, though, because Shelter always has some bittersweet sort of twist to it, it seems. So who knows what's going to happen to this lovely little family here. Something must happen. I mean, Ina was all on her own when she was grown up anyway. Off on the trail, moving slow, moving steady. Dark clouds loom, dark lands wail. Dangers are here, dangers are many. Oh no, guys, this is what I was worried about. <laughs> I think this is going to be the part where we get uh, separated from our family. If there's dangers around, dark clouds looming, it looks like there's, oh no, it looks like there's a storm coming. And the storms in Shelter 2 usually meant forest fires, so we'll see if this is the same. Um, the M key. Let's see what the M key does. Let's see. Anything? There we go. <laughs> okay, there's our map. So, of course, we don't know much about the world yet because we're just tiny little cubs ourselves. So, we don't really know what we're uh, exploring at the moment. But I'm sure our mother knows. I'm sure she knows where she's supposed to go. I'm trying to kind of stay out of this tall grass because I don't like that I can't really run when, um... Oh, we need to crouch? Left control, okay. So we need to crouch down and maybe let our um, our mother hunt. Maybe that's what we're doing? I'm a little bit worried that uh, she's going too far away from us too. This is a little bit tricky. <laughs> so she caught us another rabbit. There we go, we can come up here and eat it with our siblings. Um, hopefully, hopefully. Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna get my meat, am I? <laughs> Would you please eat the meat? Um, I think she's eating it now. Okay, there we go, Ina. There we go. There we go. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky when you're playing shelter to get to the right place. Uh-oh, what's going on? There must be some sort of danger around here. She's carrying me away. I'm not sure what she saw, though. It's probably that fox or maybe one of those wolves. I know the foxes live around the forest area of shelter, too, so... Oh, oh what was that? They all meowed. I thought they were taken for a moment. 
<laughs> I like how she kind of takes me away from the danger because in all honesty, I don't know what I'm looking at right now. It's so strange being so tiny in Shelter too. It is so strange. It is such a strange perspective to uh, follow here. Oh, she's on the run now. Oh, I kind of remember this log. Is this, um, is this what she was jumping over in the beginning? I'm not sure. <laughs> This is interesting. I feel like we are really moving through the Shelter 2 world. I wonder if that's true. I wonder if this is the exact same world from Shelter 2, just, you know, from the smaller eye of a tiny little cob. And oh dear, oh dear, those giant raindrops <laughs> are falling from the sky right now, guys. That's a little bit worrying. Oh my goodness, I feel like if they hit me, I would just drown instantly. And it looks like we need to follow our mother around the river right now, which is a little bit worrying. We had to deal with something like that in um, Shelter 1, actually, when we were controlling those little badgers. So hopefully we're not going to have to dodge any rapids or anything like that. <laughs> Let's see where she leads us, though. It is so strange following the mother lynx now, honestly. <laughs> this is so trippy. We played uh, Shelter 2 twice as the Mother Lynx, and now we're playing as the little baby. I can't believe it. <laughs> so let's see, it looks like she probably is leading us straight to the stream over here. It doesn't look too wild at the moment, but I'm a little bit worried nonetheless. <laughs> I wonder if she's going to like carry us across or something, unless there's still a path up this way. It's kind of hard to tell. It might go further, but I feel like it might end here. Yeah, it looks like it ends here. So what are we going to do, Mother Lynx? Are you going to take us across? Okay, it looks like it. Oh, you're taking us, uh, you're taking us, yeah, right across the stream. Okay, okay. The other little cubs have to uh, walk on their own, which is a little bit scary. I hope they're doing okay. <laughs> but, um, I get to, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, she dropped me. Oh, mom, wait a second, you dropped me. <laughs> oh no, we need to make it to the shore. Oh gosh, I'm right here, mom. Pick me up, pick me up. Oh no, oh no. Pick me up, mom. <laughs> oh no, oh no, she couldn't reach me. Oh gosh, we're getting wiped away now. Oh no. Oh gosh, guys, I think we were separated from our family. That's not good. Hopefully we can find a way to get back to the shore. Oh gosh, hopefully that was supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the bigger concern. Wet, scared, alone, abandoned. She was puzzled, head filled with questions. Was this fate? Was this random? Time to move to make the right impressions. Okay, it looks like we made it to the shore. We kind of got washed up on our own, it seems. And we're all alone now. Things are looking very spooky here. Oh, there's a little frog. Are we going to follow you, Mr. Frog? <laughs> Hopping along with you. Look at you. So bright and colorful. I think um, it went off into the bushes, though, so we'll keep going down this path. And uh, hopefully there's not going to be any little monsters waiting for us up here. <laughs> any foxes or wolves. Um, it looks like... It, it kind of feels like Halloween, almost, with those uh, orange clouds in the sky and the purple ground. Very spooky. All of these, uh, were those birds or bats? Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. I didn't know that was a cliff. <laughs> Our little lynx is just fine, though. Oh, and the fireflies. Okay, I have a feeling we're supposed to make it toward the fireflies. That would probably make sense. It looks very safe up here with all of these little twinkling lights. Let's see. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, though. I love the way this game looks. And it looks like there's more fireflies up here, too. So we'll just follow them along. It's almost like those stars that the mother lynx would always follow. Now as cubs, we're following fireflies, which is adorable. They're like little miniature stars almost. Um, I think we can run. There we go. We can run too. So we can try to uh, go a little bit faster through this path and figure out where we're supposed to go. I wonder if we're going to meet up with that uh, little baby bear soon. Whoopsie, got stuck on a rock there. I have a feeling we're probably going to run into him pretty soon. <laughs> I wonder if uh, the baby bear also got separated from its mother. That might make sense. But it seems like we're kind of following this path here. Um, is this where our mother Lynx was before, I wonder? Okay, so we can smell, of course. We can smell, but it doesn't seem like there's much for us to smell right now. Oh, there they are. That's um, their little spirits almost, showing us where they were. 
showing us which way we're supposed to go, almost as if uh, Ina is smelling them right now and trying to follow their scent. <laughs> follow it right back home, or maybe she's just missing them so much that she's imagining them there with her. And there's their footprints, okay. Hopefully they're still in the den. That would be really sad if like they moved on or maybe if something happened to them and um, they couldn't go back to the den. So it looks like we're transitioning to the next area here. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Everything looks so much um, spookier without all of our family members there with us, which makes sense because, of course, Ina is just a little child at the moment, so she's probably very, very scared. Very worried without her mom to keep her safe. I'm certainly worried. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna stay in this grass for a moment. I thought I heard something and I don't really want to get picked off by any wolves. That wouldn't be very good. <laughs> we have to keep Ina alive, right? I mean, she does give birth to our very first generation of uh, lynxes and if she died, that would be a bit of a problem. Oh my goodness, are those deer? Well, obviously, little Ina can't take down a deer at the moment. <laughs> but deer are much better to see than um, wolves or foxes. So I'm okay with deer. You guys can wander around. I'm a little bit worried, though. I hear all that crunching, and I'm not sure if it's um, my paws on the ground or if there's something else in the area. The way that this place looks, I mean, you kind of feel like anything could pop out at any moment. And I kind of lost the scent here. Uh-oh, guys. I kind of lost the scent. Um, there we go. Okay, I see those little glowing paw prints off in the distance again. So we'll go this way. It looks like we have to go through this little opening in the rocks. And hopefully we're getting closer now. <laughs> hopefully we're getting closer to our family. Oh, that didn't sound good. That really didn't sound good. Oh my goodness. Um, I see all these leaves fluttering down. It must be fall time now. wonder how long we've been away. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, things are definitely getting a little bit spookier. What is this, I wonder? Is this, um... Oh, these are eggs. Okay, okay. I thought it was like a hiding place. Um, I would like to eat these, actually. I would definitely like to eat those up. There we go. Okay, I think I saw another one around here too. I wonder if we have to keep our, our little um, baby lynx fed. I wonder. That's going to be a little bit tricky. If she starts to feel hungry, I wonder if she would like slow down or something. So we'll feed on these lovely eggs to uh, keep our energy up very high. And then I believe the paw prints were this way. There we go. There we go. So we can continue along the trail over here through the swamps it looks like through all of these swampy, swampy lands. Um, I think I can catch the frogs too. Um, I thought I heard a crack. Usually when you hear the cracks of uh, twigs in Shelter 2, that means that the foxes are after you. Ooh, oh my goodness, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that for? <laughs> Was that like a swan or something or a hawk? I'm not sure, but I'm getting out of there. Oh my goodness, I guess. I guess, honestly, that guy did not appreciate me eating his eggs. I mean, I can understand that. Just protecting their own young at this point. Um, should we go for this one, though? Let's give this one a try. Hopefully there's no bird over here. Um, I don't see anything, so... <laughs> that was scary. Oh my goodness. Um, there's another one again, but we're going to uh, tiptoe up to it very cautiously here. Very cautiously. Take a little bite. Take a quick little snack, and then move along. <laughs> Don't let those birds see you, little one. Um, yeah, it definitely seems like we can catch the frogs. Um, we should try to catch one of those frogs at some point, but I don't want to accidentally fall in the water either. <laughs> because we know that lynxes and water do not mix. We've learned that. We've learned our lessons. Um, let's see. Maybe we should try to catch this one right here. Let's see if I can pounce on it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I think I missed it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She, like, ran straight into the rocks there. Oh, my goodness. Um, let's try to climb this. There we go. Big jumps for a little tiny baby lynx. And um, here's another group of eggs right here. So we'll snack on this as well. There we go. It looks like we're still right by the lakeside, so... Hopefully that means we're getting a little bit closer to our mother, too. 
I'm not sure, guys, but I think this might be a good spot to end it for now. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and oh dear, oh dear, <laughs> we're going to move away from that swan. <laughs> It was a swan. Oh my gosh, that's a bit menacing. We're going to move over here as we end out this episode, right in the tall grass. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you all next time. Bye!